Hello everyone, Mike Smell here for Simulation TV. In this episode of Simulation in Action, we're going to take a look at getting started with Autodesk Simulation CFD 360. Well, what is Simulation CFD 360? This is our brand new cloud offering of simulation products. This is going to change the way users think about accessing and carrying out simulations. So join me in watching as Len Whitehead from our user experience team takes us through using Simulation CFD 360 for the very first time. In this video, we'll show you how to harness the nearly infinite computing power of the cloud to perform a detailed CFD simulation and design comparison of the airflow through an industrial manifold. To help you get started, I'd like to cover a couple of key points. First, how to start Autodesk Simulation CFD 360. Then how to log into Autodesk 360. How to run a simulation in the cloud using Autodesk 360 and how to monitor it using the Simulation Job Manager, how to display results, and finally, how to really leverage the power of Simulation CFD by modifying the model, running it again, and comparing the results. The awesome part of this process is that the simulations take place in the cloud, not on your local desktop machine. To get the model shown in this video, Click the link in either the CFD or Mechanical Wiki Help page under Getting Started. Either link downloads the zip file which contains the model shown in both videos. After saving the zip file to a local directory, extract its contents. The first step is to start Autodesk Simulation CFD 360. You can launch it from any of the supported CAD tools or from the desktop. For our purposes here, let's use the desktop icon. You'll notice that you're prompted to log into Autodesk 360. This is really important because this controls your access to the product. It's your direct connection to Autodesk 360 and the cloud. So go ahead and enter your Autodesk single sign-on and password. Open the Manifold CFZ file. This is a CFD share file that contains the model and all the settings necessary to run the simulation. To run it, click Solve from the Setup tab and click Solve to get it started. Now here's where the really cool stuff happens. To keep an eye on things, open the Simulation Job Manager from the Notification area. This tool transfers your model up to Autodesk 360, brings back the results when the job is done, and keeps you informed throughout the entire process. While the job runs, you can watch its progress in Simulation CFD 360 if you want. If you'd rather do something else, no problem. Once the job is running, you can shut it down and your simulation runs in Autodesk 360. The Simulation Job Manager keeps everything under control. When it's finished, the Simulation Job Manager sends the results back so they're waiting for you when you're ready to look at them. To take a quick look at the results, click Planes and click Add. To move the plane, drag the axis. To rotate it, drag the arc. To align it, left click on the plane and click an axis. You can change the displayed quantity from the results menu. You can also add vectors. To change the plane appearance, click the Edit button. Let's go ahead and save this view. One, because it's a nice image, and two, because we're going to need it later. Autodesk Simulation CFD 360 is more than just the one-time simulation, though. The true power is being able to run multiple scenarios to evolve and refine your design. So let's do that. We'll clone the scenario. And we're going to change the inlet velocity to 2,000 millimeters per second. And then run our second simulation. Just like before, click Solve to start it up.
As with the desktop product, the results update during the run. You can watch the communications and simulation job manager if you want as the job runs on Autodesk 360. When the simulation is done, Autodesk 360 sends the results back to your computer so you can visualize the results. Remember that summary image we saved a few minutes ago? We'll now use the Decision Center to apply that image to our two scenarios and compare them in the Design Review Center. To wrap it up, we did some pretty cool stuff today. We opened a share file in Autodesk Simulation CFD 360 that contained the setup manifold model. We then ran it on the cloud using Autodesk 360. Behind the scenes, the simulation job manager copied the model data from our computer to Autodesk 360, and then removed the results back when the simulation was complete. We then took it a step further by cloning the scenario, changing the inlet velocity, and running it again. To top it all off, we compare the results from our two scenarios in the Design Review Center. The amazing part of this process, though, is that all of our simulations took place in the cloud, not on our local computer.